All right, it's early August. We're here at the hunt camp. We're checking all our cameras, making sure batteries are good, everything's working properly, because we're about to do a deer survey with our Moultrie cameras and app. It's a new feature, and it's a professional trail cam survey that's done in the Moultrie app. And I'm gonna show you how to set that up so you can do one for yourself. All right, let's click on our Moultrie app. Go down here to the bottom to more, and we're gonna click deer survey. So we wanna do a new survey, so I'm gonna click on new survey. And here you have a couple options. If you already have all of your cameras pinned to your map uh, for the area where you wanna do a survey, then just go to create a map view. If you don't have your cameras pinned, then go to that step two and pin those cameras first. Uh, that's essential because once you draw the map view around your area, it's only going to use the pinned cameras inside that zone to do the deer survey. So make sure you pin those cameras. I've already got mine pinned, so we're going to go to create a map view. All right, I've got cameras in numerous places, so I'm zooming out because I want to do this survey at my hunt camp. Uh, we do manage our population here, so we get weights and all of those things, so, so we're actively managing. So I want to take this survey here so I can kind of help set up our harvest goals for this fall. So I'm going to draw uh, a, a zone all the way around the property here. So I'm going to drop that first point, then I'm going to come down to my next. And this is where the property lines uh, feature in the maps really comes in handy because all I'm doing is following our property lines. That way I know exactly the zone. So I can get a really defined zone in here. All right, we've got that completed. Now I'm gonna click next. And I'm gonna call this hunt camp because that's what this location is. We're gonna save that. All right, now here you'll see a whole list of other cameras. These are cameras that you don't have pinned yet. So if you have all your cameras pinned inside that zone, you don't have to worry about that. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and click this cancel. It's gonna ask, are we wanting to leave? Yeah, let's go ahead and leave. So we've left. All right, now we're gonna name it. So this is our, our survey name. Uh, I'm gonna put summer 25. And that gives me the time and date, and uh, I'm gonna start it today. All right, so now you've got a couple options. You can do a 14-day or a 30-day survey. And uh, the general rule of thumb in trail cam surveys uh, among biologists and, and all the studies that have gone on, if you have baited locations, 14 days is plenty. If you're not using bait or you're not allowed to per laws, they, they kind of recommend that 30 day. So, so those are the two options you get. We have feeders up. We're going to go with that 14 day. We've already created our map view. Uh, so down here, population characteristics. We also want to know, because it is summer, we want to know the, the doe and fawn ratio too. So we're going to click that and we're going to hit create. All right, so now it's showing me all the cameras that are pinned inside of that area. Um, you wanna go through, make sure these are up to date. Uh, if you had some that were maybe old or or you, know, you hadn't removed them, you could click off of those, but these are all good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. And we're, we're gonna say skip, cause I don't need to do anything here. All right, so now you can see my survey has begun. So I've got 13 days remaining. It's gonna go through August 18th, and I'm gonna let that happen. So your cameras are gonna be taking photos. They're gonna be fed into the system, and all the tabulation and the math and all that is gonna be taking place on the server side. So all of this is automated. You don't have to do anything else right now. You're just gonna let those days click down. Um, just FYI, if you had feeders out or cameras out and say, you know, it was earlier in the summer and the, and the fawns were dropped, you can actually retroactively do a survey uh, as long as you had everything set up properly. But we're going to let this sit. And then uh, at the end of these 13 days, 
We're going to see what our buck to doe ratios are, what our fawn recruitment, and, and that's going to help us determine our harvest goals and are, are the deer healthy and those things. So this is an extremely valuable tool for those properties where you are actively managing the deer herd.